Hey, it's Mark. I want to talk to you about a trap with peak pay to make sure you're getting the best possible offers. And peak pay doesn't always help you. Sometimes peak pay is designed to get you to take offers that you wouldn't normally take. And it's based on an old retail scam. Say I have a store and I can't sell something at $10 and I want to put it on sale, but I don't want to drop the price. I raised the price in this following example to $11.11 cents. .11 Cross that out, put it back to $10, put a sale sign next to it, and hope anybody who comes to the store doesn't realize that the price never changed. I just put a sale sign next to it. Now, peak pay trap works kind of similar. First thing you got to understand is that in every area, there's hidden pay because DoorDash hides money from us. And they only hide money from us on certain offers. And those are mostly from restaurants and that the order comes through DoorDash and those have a minimum offer of $4 plus the minimum offer. So whatever the minimum in your area plus $4. So the minimum in your area, like mine, is $275. The minimum for hidden pay is $675. If your minimum is one of the other amounts between $2.25, just add four. So if it's three, it's seven. If it's $225, it's $625. Now what DoorDash does to you is... With the peak pay, what they want to do is take orders that are $4.75, $5.75, $6. Bring those above that minimum. Make them look like they have that potential hidden pay, even though those orders won't have it. And here's the example of why this is effective. So I have a dollar, a $4.75 order going 1.5 miles. Has a great dollars per mile ratio, but it doesn't even pay you five bucks. A lot of people are going to say no to that because it might still take 10, 20, or 30 minutes of your time, and you just need to make sure you're making more. So what DoorDash is doing, we're really busy now. We need orders to move. Let's put $2 extra on that, see who will take it. And hopefully some of those people will think, oh, I'm going to get our potential hidden pay. The offer might be higher, except for it's not. It's just, uh, it, it, it's, you got to always subtract the peak pay from the offer. And, and if you look at my example, the six seventy five offer does look more attractive. It's $4.50 per mile. And that's why you got to be careful with dollars per mile ratio. Sometimes they don't mean anything. And the real way you got to do it is my last example, which has, incidentally, $5.80 per mile. It's six seventy five plus $2.00. Because I took the eight seventy five offer and I've subtracted the two dollars. This has potential hidden pay. The ones below don't have potential hidden pay. And let's face it, in order to make this profitable, most of the orders we do, the only thing that's going to make it profitable if it has potential hidden pay. So that has to be on every order, no matter what. Because the because uh, I mean most of the offers are falling below nine dollars, eight dollars. And if you can only, say, do two of them an hour, you're not going to make as much money compared to if you make sure the hidden pay comes out. So you get an order that's 14 or 20 or 30 or 40. I don't see why you should give that up. And you certainly shouldn't give that up easily because you shouldn't be scammed by DoorDash. You shouldn't be tricked out of your money. You should have the chance to be able to make the money. And unfortunately, this is the system we have. The pay is hidden. So you have to be aware of things like this and make sure you always subtract the peak pay from your offer and make sure you're above that minimum offer plus $4 on every order. And thanks for watching the video. I hope this is of some help to you.